It's not too late to order your free copy of the 2024 Heart of the Nation Catholic Wall Calendar. The Catholic Date Pad lists holy days, feast days, and has space to write in your own appointments. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. When completing the online form, use the promo code TVMASS. If you're not able to order online, mail your request to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. You may order by phone, however, it does take longer to process your request. The toll free number is 1 855 855 MASS. We're able to provide one free calendar per household. At the beginning of this new year, please consider a generous gift to help support the Sunday Mass on TV. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And we begin this new year joined with Mary, the mother of God, and praising her son as we address our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. And my brothers and my sisters, in order to prepare ourselves to receive these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our own sinfulness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of, of the truly important tasks that a family has is the naming of an expected child. For some, families will agonize over the selection of the name. For it's like trying on a, a new suit or a dress, always asking, does it fit? What does it sound like? For others, it's easy. They'll be named after mother, father, or a grandparent. And for still others, it may be an influential figure a teacher or someone who has had an impact on the lives of the family, or sometimes maybe even a leader in the culture itself. Children will often ask their parents, Mom, Dad, how did I get my name? The stories are usually interesting and insightful and even sometimes funny. The power to name is a statement that you belong. The family possesses you. St. Luke tells us when the eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The wisdom of God sent his son into the world through the fiat of Mary, thy will be done. Mary became the new Eve. In the story of creation, Eve became the mother of all human beings. Now, the mother of the Son of God becomes the mother of all in the new creation through the birth of her son, Jesus, who came to redeem us from sin that separated us from our God and to destroy death through his resurrection. We are new people brought about through the unconditional love of God, whom we refer to as Abba. Many understand Abba as father, a relationship in the family. But we must also understand Abba in terms of endearment. I did not refer to my father as father, but for me, he was always Papa. For others, Dad, or Daddy, or Pops. The term should not only be embedded in our heads, but reflected in our hearts. Abba means that we have a heartfelt, personal relationship with our God, who loves us as Papa, Daddy, Pops, loves his child. As St. Paul tells us, as proof you are children, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. Today, on this first day of the new year, we celebrate Mary, the mother of God, the mother of Jesus, the son of God. She is also our mother. Now Mary nurtured the child Jesus. Mary tended to the child's wombs. Mary embraced him. Help us, Mary, our mother, to care for our brothers and sisters, to heal our divisions, and to grow in our love for your son, Jesus. In this new year, we're thankful for God our Father, for Mary our mother, and Jesus our brother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, Father the Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and, and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered Son, under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, 
On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now we place our needs before God, our loving Father. For the church, that we may imitate the shepherds in proclaiming the good news of the Son of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have fled their homes because of war, violence, or persecution, that they may find peace and refuge, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those without family, whether through death or estrangement, that they may realize their inclusion in God's family and find comfort in the Father's constant care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers, that like our blessed mother, that they may have joyful memories to treasure in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all our Heart of the Nation parish members including those joining us from the state of California. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, that they receive healing hope and tender love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, may they dwell in Christ's abundant love for all eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers we place before you, those spoken aloud and those which remain in our hearts. And if it be in your will, grant them through our Lord and brother Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable and pleasing to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name, especially on this the feast of Mary, the mother of God. 
For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops, Richard, Jeffrey, James, and all the clergy, religious, and laity everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with John the Evangelist, and the other apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, together we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. And the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now, in Christ there is always new beginnings. We turn to one another and offer a sign of his peace. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof. But only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son, and mother of the church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
thanking Mary, Mother of God, our mother, for the gift of her son, we open this new year pledging ourselves to his love. May we live that love in fullness and peace. Let us go, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. It's not too late to order your free copy of the 2024 Heart of the Nation Catholic Wall Calendar. The Catholic Date Pad lists holy days, feast days, and has space to write in your own appointments. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. When completing the online form, use the promo code TVMASS. If you're not able to order online, mail your request to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. You may order by phone, however, it does take longer to process your request. The toll-free number is 1-855-855-MASS. We're able to provide one free calendar per household. At the beginning of this new year, please consider a generous gift to help support the Sunday Mass on TV. Thank you.